Yo, what is up YouTube? Nathan Ramirez coming at you and today what we're gonna be doing is analyzing the basics of how to read a char a stock chart. So basically what that means is there's stock charts, there's information that the app gives you uh, to look at how the stock has done over time and today we're gonna look at why it's important to look at it, how you should look at it, and how I look at it and what what benefits does it bring. Stock charts are very important because stocks follow patterns. They don't always follow patterns. They're sometimes random and you can't really always know what's gonna happen next. But a good way to have a probability and idea of what's gonna happen next in future time is to look at the stock charts. Stock charts tell you the high, the prices that are they're being sold at and being bought at. And looking at it, you're gonna wanna sell at the highest points of the, of the, of the, ch of the candle and you're gonna wanna buy at the lowest point of the candle. By candle, I mean a candle goes like this, right? The tip of the candle is right here. That's what a stock is gonna look like. The tip of the candle is right here. These people will analyze these charts, but the way I do it, I look at it over time and I see, all right, am I, is it right now a good time to, to buy or sell? I wanna know if I'm making the right decision. So we're gonna look at some stock charts and we're gonna see basically how I would look at them. We're gonna look, go over some vocabulary and see, let's see if we can use some charts. Now we are on my Robinhood investing account. As you guys can see, I'm down $45 today, which is mostly from, mostly from Sava. So we're gonna look at the chart today for Sava. So if I wanted to look at Sava overall as a general company, it's like my first time looking at it, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna see this, it's, go it's at one day. You see how it says one day, one week, one month, three month, one year, five year? That's very important to look at. That basically tells you from one day, how has this done? And the five year tells you from the last past five years, how has this stock done? As you guys can see, right next to the five year, there's this little toggle that shows you this. I like it with the red and green lines because that shows you where people are buying and where people are selling. This huge red line right here to the left is a huge sale that someone made. And as you can see, the small buys lead, it rises up and then a huge sale. Buys, 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 huge sale, buys, 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 huge sale. Why are people selling at the top and buying at, buying at the bottom? Well, that's simple because you want to buy the stock at the lowest price possible so it has the most potential to grow. So for example, if this stock is at $70, I buy it at $70, goes up to $100, I make $30 profit. If I'm gonna wanna buy into this stock, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at, okay, what's gone on in the past month? Oh, wow. You can see right here on February 2nd, 2021, you see those four, you see the six words on top with a bunch of information. That's what we're gonna be looking at right now. So as you can see, on the, when we go to the one month, we're scrolling and this is like where it goes up a lot, right? This is where we see a big, big, big change. And right now I'm thinking to myself, why did this happen? I can look at articles maybe that came out on this day and telling me why this happened and what might happen next. But right now we're gonna look at the open and the closed pricing. So basically the open and the closed pricing is the prices that it opened and closed at. So for example, the market opens in the morning and closes in the afternoon. So right now on February 20, on February 2nd, 2021, Sava opened at a stock price of $33.39. And it closed at a stock price of $55.44. Why is that important? We can see that from when the market opened to when it closed, it changed $20, which we can see the days before, the open and the closes, they, they didn't change by, they changed by dollars, if anything. And and all of a sudden on February 2nd, it changed by $20. That is insane. I mean, something's happening with Sava. I mean, something's going on. Next thing we're gonna look up, look at is the high and the low price prices. So we saw the open and the close of what they opened and closed at, but on that same day, the stock price went all the way up to $74.50. That was the highest it went all day. And that's important because someone could have bought at the open at $33.39 and sold at the $74.50 and that would have been the perfect trade. That would have been like the dream trade because who knows that it's gonna go all the way up to $74 
and then go back down to 55. If it was me, if it was you, we might have it, we might open, bought it at $33.39, goes all the way up to a high of $74.50, and we're gonna think to ourselves, huh, is it gonna go up or is it gonna go down? Usually, the greedy selves that we are, we're gonna say, oh, it's, it's gone up $30, it's still gonna go up more. And that's when you lose potential to make some money. So if I was a genius and I knew exactly when it was going to be the highest point, I would have sold at $74.50. And I would have made a good amount of profit. I would have doubled my, my, my profit. And it would have been a nice buy. But seeing that it's so high right now, I'm going to go to the one day. It's, it's the lowest it's traded all day. So am I gonna buy right now? Now might be a good time to buy compared to up here where it's at the top of the candle. We're at the bottom of the candle. It's about to create a new candle and it's at the bottom. It looks like the bottom, but technically the, the bottom of the candle could go really low, go all the way to $30. And it's gonna be a really low candle. So you have to think, when is the best time for me to buy this stock? When do I think this stock is gonna be, like that's why stocks are different than gambling. Gambling, you really, your odds are there. You, you don't choose your odds. Your odds are given. But right here, me deciding what price I'm going to buy these stocks at is basically me deciding my odds. What are the odds that it goes to 100? What are the odds that it goes down $70 and it's at $1? There's, that's, those are the odds you're going to take. So the price you buy it at is basically the odds you're taking for that stock. All right, guys. So we saw Sava. We saw how, how insanely it jumped from... $20 to, to $60 in two days, which is insane. And now we're gonna look at another stock, Sundial, Sundial Growers, and currently it's at $1.19. As you can see, my average cost paid for this stock is $1.16, and I got 88 shares of that, which is a total of $104 market value. So right now we're gonna look at, basically, I, have, I own this stock, I'm gonna look at the day. I'm gonna see how is this stock doing today. Uh, it's down a little bit. What was the high for today? It went all the way up to one dollar and thirty cents. I haven't even seen it gone that high. So it going up that high makes me feel like it has a potential to go even higher. Uh, I'm gonna look at the one week. Uh, I can see right here at the beginning of January 29th, the open and the the high. They're at eighty cents compared to like right here when it starts to get to a dollar on February 1st. So in two days, it grew twenty cents. So seeing that, I, I can maybe use the next two days and say it's going to grow 20 cents or maybe even drop back to that original price. So when I'm looking at these stocks, I'm just going to go to one day, one week, one month. I'm going to go to three months. I'm just going to scroll, see how, how this thing is going, like what's going on? What's the highest it's ever been? I'm going to go to five years. I'm going to see what's the highest it's been. This thing opened when this stock first came out, uh, August 1st, 2019, it opened at $13 which is really high compared to now when it's at $1.19. Does it have a history of being a consistent $13? No, we can see that over three months, it, it dropped $10 in prices and over, so like, and now it's it's all the way down $11.81 for the past five years. So my, now might be a good time, a good time to buy, right? Since it's low, or it might be a really bad time to buy. How are you gonna know? You're gonna see. You're gonna search up. You're gonna search up information on this company. You're gonna see why is it so low compared to when it opened. What What are people feeling on this stock? How do they feel? How are people trading this stock right now? Because there's so much information out there, especially if you just Google this stock. A lot of news articles, a lot of um, stock trading articles are gonna pop up, and you're gonna get a lot of information from those. So as you can see right here, the high, thirteen dollars low is 49 cents i think it's gonna go up i think it has potential to go up so i'm gonna keep it and see how it does so i hope you guys got a little um more insight on what open closed prices are what high and low prices are and also the volume the volume is how many of those stocks are being traded if it's a high volume that means a lot of people are buying and selling that means a lot of movement is going on that means the stock's in a move a, a lot quicker than if it's uh, a lower volume. If it's high volume, be be aware that it can move down and up a lot. And people are really interested in that stock. So 
Stay aware of the high and low prices, the open and closed prices. Stay aware of the prices and how they moved over the years, over the past five years. Find your favorite, like for me, I know a bunch of stocks I, I can remember, like Tesla, like a week ago was at 750, like a month ago it was like at 850, like a year ago it was like at $300. Like I have a knowledge of past stock prices and that's just only going to get better and it's only going to allow me to make better trades in the future because I have... I'm building the knowledge of stock prices and if I see a Tesla price at 600, I'm like, wow, I know this is a really good price because over the past five years that I've been watching this stock, now is a great time to buy. So keeping that information in your head, keeping that information on your phone, knowing when you're buying, knowing when to sell, buy low, sell high, that's the main goal and the best way to analyze that and figure out how to do that is by looking at your charts, looking at your information that you have. Hey. And have some fun. I hope you guys made some money with this advice. Hope you guys got anything out of this video. And if you got any information, if you learned anything from this video, drop a like, leave a comment what you want to learn next because I do not know exactly what you guys want to learn, what you guys are like struggling with. So if you guys let me know down in the comments below, I'll definitely be excited to make those videos. And also, don't forget to subscribe. 70% of you that are watching this video are not subscribed, which is insane subscribe our goal is a thousand subscribers and when we get there just wait on it just wait on it. we're gonna do a giveaway we're gonna have some fun all right guys so don't forget to drop a like leave a comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out